Yeah, those things will kill me very quickly. The crawlipede things. I wonder if there's a way to prevent them. Probably not, but yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to an episode of Trey. Before we end up that like task, love it. please leave a like and subscribe. Also leave comments for me down in the comments below. In addition to the description, we're thanks to my Twitter, Twitch, and Discord. Twitch for lives from the happen. Twitter for updates and videos and lives. And Discord just hang out and chat with me. And now that we got out of the way, let me get into the actual video I came here today for. And that uh, starts by me announcing, uh, in case you can't already notice, because the Star Destroyer is my next uh, quest to complete. That I have completed the cultists finally. Uh, what I did is I changed out some stuff. First of all, I got rid of our board that we're using as our flight because I have this cosmic car key. I think I showed it last episode. I then also switched over, put some about the ninja gear. So that was a dungeon crawl for a little bit. Got the celestial stone, which increases a couple of things just permanently. And I have an obsidian shield to add some defense. Uh, I want to upgrade these. I have actually almost all of the stuff together to upgrade them. I'm missing one piece from getting the final upgrade of the obsidian shield and one piece from the lucky celestial thing turning into the, I think it's called the celestial crystal or celestial shell or something like that. So I'm one off on both of those. But since everything is now, yep, yeah, okay. I was gonna say, everything is now the celestial events. <laughs> because I forgot that's the next thing. Everything's gonna be a little hard to take care of. I don't remember if these are that hard, but I know that the, one of the pillars gotta be over in this over in this area. And they're pretty brutal. Um, with the nebula, I want the vortex stuff. The vortex stuff lets me get a gun if I can defeat the vortex pillar. I mean, I, I understand that that's this is kind of the end game. Like, once I defeat these three pillars, it's gonna spawn the moon lord, and I better be ready. Oh, this is vortex. This is the one I want. So we're going to start by trying to take out the Vortex Pillar, but if we can take out the Vortex Pillar, we can get a... ...kind of endgame upgrade for our class. Endgame weapon upgrade, that is. That's a little crab boy down there, if anyone just saw it. This feels somewhat easier than the Ninja Cultists.
Okay, this is substantially easier. This is not it, is it? This thing down, probably down in my crafting area so I can craft with it. What can I make? Dragon cell. Okay, so Stardust is not the tower I needed. What did I think was the stuff? It's like the vortex one. That's not where that goes. Uh, we should probably. Out somewhere in case those things come our way. We need vortex stuff is what's gonna give us our we need like it's like a vortex rifle we're gonna get. Problem being if we take out the vortex one now that I did that, we're gonna have the uh Moon Lord very close. So if we accidentally kill too much of the other stuff, we're gonna just accidentally spawn the Moon Lord. But, you know, it's a chance I'm going to take, I guess. So, let's go see if we can take on another Celestial Pillar. I want to, maybe it's this pillar. Maybe it is the pillar that I, like, died to pretty quickly. I mean, this is, like, the purpley one. Seems easy. <laughs> I feel like you do when you, you know when you're in like a game and you like really over level yourself. The Moon Lord obviously is not gonna be easy, but this stuff feels like I'm over level. Thank <laughs> you. 
I kind of figured I was dead there. Well, we almost have it down, and I think this is nebular. Crap, is this still the wrong one? Is there four of these? Please say there's four of them. Oh, this is so stressful. Thudding out the, uh, magic cultists cold, this would make me feel less stressed. Still kind of cheap compared to what we already took care of, just by the fact that they're like. Hmm. Feels kind of easy. Barely. I don't want to. I feel bad saying that. He is. I mean, they're still killing me. Stuff in these areas is still killing. Me. Okay, so if we find the solar pillar. We don't want to take that out. Because that's the one that I don't need. Nebular. Let's see what this makes. I might want to play that. So with how I've set up my class, I've pretty much avoided all range weapons that are not. Um, this is the magic one. So if we find then oh, yeah, and because I have the little the thing on the ninja gear on, I I, I can do like a double tap jump blink thing. So let's go see what's over here. felt so stressful to take on the last boss. These bosses just don't have that same, like, weight to them. I mean, I guess there are four of them that are all, like, combined. And the one already killed me, like, three times. Okay, I think this is the Vortex one. Where's the pillar at? That's the solar pillar. Okay, so I'm assuming the nebula, or the Vortex one, will be on the far left. Kinda cool. Oh, should probably spawn in my oh boy. I need another summon, so I might actually look at getting one of the if I have the mana for it, one so I've been using a summon just because it feels like it gives me that little bit extra damage that I need. So I had seen no reason not to. So I I think if we die to this pillar, I'm gonna go make a summon from the, I guess, the nebular pillar or whatever the pillar I took on board. This is the vortex one. This has to be. Vortex. Yeah. This is the one I wanted before, at first. Yeah, make a new sum. Let's make sure I have enough mana to cast it. I have 140 mana. I should be able to cast it once. As long as I build the right summon. 
which is kind of making our build a make build, but it just feels better, and there's kind of a reason not to. It's not I'm using mana for any of my weapons, since I'm not a magic build. So. Let's see. Summons a Stardust Dragon to fight for you. Sort of sell to fight for you. Try this one. Let me go back out to that place. <sighs> so if we save one celestial event, then in between episodes I can kind of grind down, get those two more pieces I need to make the what I was working on. Honestly, the summon damage feels about the same as that other thing I had. But this one's a little bit more interesting. It's like fires, like home projectiles that then stick on. I like it. It feels a little bit more aggressive. mechanic they have oh what I've noticed is that you get hit by projectiles from these guys they cause your so let's say you're using light pretty heavily it makes it wavy pretty effective kind of screwing me up a little bit I don't know if that's all of them or just one particular one, I just keep getting it for that one particular one. But I do find it an interesting mechanic. found that it's kind of weird, but it feels like most of Terraria's AI get very confused by just simple rotational movement.
back. Now that we got that, let's see what we can... Should be a blaster I can make. There's the bow, which is 97 range, but I don't have really a... against that stuff. Okay, so... 77. When I'm standing still on the ground, it goes up to 111 and 116. It's about the same as my Xenobopper. That's not even, like, a really good version of it. I should actually reef. Masterful. I think I need to reforge my gun. I can't even... Oh my god, it's really loud. 122. Okay, now it's gotten far more brutal. Let's see if we can take on this other thing and take on. We're not gonna defeat the moon. We're... If we spawn him in, we're probably gonna die to him very quickly. And then we'll just start over again. But I wanna do the last pillar for now. And there's not much else to do. I mean my other options right now are to just go grind a bunch of stuff to get the uh to get my two things that I'm working on, but come on guys, come on out. Got to get fucked up. Those things will kill me very quickly. We crawl up things. I wonder if there's a way to prevent them. Probably not, but yeah. Should we spawn back in our friend? So armor-wise, the only thing better than what I have is vortex armor, which requires me to defeat the Moon Lord first. So we may make. 115,000 damage from 1,500 damage per second. Uh, yikes. Uh, we might make a build, like, after we kill the Moon Lord, just so we can see how killy we can be. Obviously, it's not going to serve much purpose. Okay. Since we've already killed, like, that. really badly. Well, I guess I can, since this is just going to be a grind against, well, I'll show you, I guess we'll do that last time, next time. Since we have the weapon now, our weapon now, go over to what I was, back to what I was working on prior to this. It's so fun to kill things now because everything dies <laughs> That's an end game gun, by the way. That's pretty much as far as it can go, weapons wise. Like, if I had to take on the Lunatic Cults without, I bet you'd go so much better. I did. Um, so, the two things we need to kill are some wolves. What I can't do right now, obviously, is stay time. Wolves come out at night, for obvious reasons. Um, but the one I can work on right now is to get the shield. We're trying to get. Like the max tier of the shielding item that we got going on. To do that, I've just been coming in here and trying. So the only thing left to, we have to get it. 
drops only from the skulls in here. Skulls are, by the way, pretty rare spawn, generally speaking. But if I can get it, then my damage goes way up. Or my defense goes up. Sorry, not my damage. The other one makes my damage go way up. I don't have the stuff of that yet. All I've been doing is kind of hang out in here. Wait for things to spawn in. Killing them. Damn, that makes two demonic rocket launchers I've got. That's super lucky. Still yet to get the one thing I actually need, though. So my damage actually goes down, hanging out near, because it just... Nothing in here can take a full hit. Those are the things I need to kill. The little flying thing I just blew up. Little skulls. I think they're called cursed skulls. Something like that. Essentially, I need to kill them until I get a 1% chance drop from them. And then once I get that, I can... Build one of the most defensive items in the game. That's not even actually specifically for my class, it's actually more for. At least it feels like it's more for. For more hand to hand combat, like melee classes. But. So these are the ones that are more like, ah, no, they're all about the same. They're all 1%. But that's essentially what I've been working on for the last, I don't know how many hours. So many golden keys, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. So yeah, that's has been the process to get to Lunatic Call to Skill, but we got there. We now have these two items and the Master Ninja Gear, which has also been somewhat helpful. Now if I can just finish upgrading these items, I think that all the rest of the fights in the game should be much, much easier. I was going to say joke, but that's... Probably not true. So, I'm gonna keep working on this. We've finally killed the cultists, and we've now taken out three of the, uh, the event pillars. So, if in between episodes I can get those two trinkets built, I think we will have a good shot at taking out the next time, possibly.
And if we don't, yeah. you'll just watch me die. And that'll be just as entertaining to me. I don't know. Well, that's about it for me. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. So, okay, guys, and goodbye.